In order to study the various topics of the course, we'll be developing an application for a travel agency. The idea is to abide by development as real as possible as an excuse to learn about the platform and its language. Let's create the front end with which users will interact by means of a web navigator or a mobile device. In addition to the back end, which will include the programs on the server and the creation and maintenance of structures in the database. As we will see, Genexus provides us with all this in one, making this itemization irrelevant. Genexus generates everything necessary for the app to function without the need to be concerned about each part of the project in a separate manner. We'll develop a part of the app to be used only by the staff at the travel agency, so they may enter the data about countries, cities, and tourist attractions offered, as well as information on flights, customers, and so on. This is the one known as back office. But we'll keep in mind, even if we don't implement it, the part meant for end users, known as customer facing, which enables queries on tours available and on the main tourist attractions in each city. As mentioned, Genexus is multi-platform, meaning that we can generate our app in different languages or programming frameworks for varied platforms and for different databases. However, in this course, for the case of the app's backend for the travel agency, we'll be generating in .NET language and using the SQL Server database. For the front end, we'll use .NET to generate the back office pages that include HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Using Java would be exactly the same. But we could also think about using Angular for the front end, or even implement a native, not web, front end for mobile devices. While this is possible, it requires using different objects for UI screens. With no intention of going into this now, and just to get an idea, if we want to implement a web front end screen for .NET or Java, we'll use the Genexus object known as web panel. Meanwhile, if we want to implement that same web screen for Angular, or if we want to implement it natively in Android or Apple, we'll resort to the object simply known as panel. These objects have exactly the same function, but have slightly different programming logics in Genexus. Although the objective of this course is not to learn how to develop web applications with Genexus for .NET or Java, but to learn the basics of application development with Genexus, which means understanding the logic of this low-code platform, regardless of whether the final application will be web for .NET, Java, or web Angular, or if it'll be native mobile, since there are some differences, we had to choose one of the two flavors and we chose the web one, not Angular. We'll implement it in .NET, but what you'll see here is exactly the same for Java. The only distinction we care about is the one we mentioned. If the front end will be web, .NET, or Java, or if it'll be web Angular or native, Android, Apple. That's because we'll use web panels or panels respectively. As for the rest, since Genexus will automatically deploy our application in the language and platform we ask for, we won't need to know practically anything about that language and platform. We'll only need to know Genexus. In view of all the above, please note, if you're going to take this course because you're interested in developing Angular or native applications, we strongly recommend that you keep the attached document open. In it, for each video of the course, we indicate its relationship with Angular or with the native mobile application. Genexus includes a full version and a trial version that doesn't include all functions and allows for a restricted number of Genexus objects to be included in our project, but it's totally free of charge. In order to enable everyone to do this course, we'll be using the trial version at all times, except in the case of explanations of some very specific issues. For the purposes of prototyping, we may do it locally, 
with the server and database located in the development machine or in the cloud, with the server and the database located in the Genexus cloud. This will allow us to skip the step of installing the software for the web server and the database in our computer. And specifically, we may only prototype in the cloud with the trial version. Genexus has the Amazon cloud available, but this will make the installation a lot easier, in addition to allowing us access to the data entered in the app, as we will see.